Well, welcome to the first segment of uh, Adventure with the Campbells. I'm Paul. And I'm Cindy. But, but most most people are going to watch this already know that, um, obviously. So we, we really just wanted to do an introductory segment um, just to for, for anybody that's not as familiar with us and kind of our background and history to make sure that um, you have context for kind of what has led to this point um, and some of our some of our background in that regard. Yeah, a lot of people people um, that know me that might not know Paul or know Paul and, and don't know me or, you know, we hear a lot of comments like, oh, I wish I could do this or wow, I'm jealous. I can't wait to, you know, see what you're going to do. I wish we could do this. And I don't, we're going to kind of tell you how we kind of led to that. And honestly, we almost kind of think like if we can do this, you probably can make some things happen <laughs> i think absolutely you know anybody who um really loves the outdoors like we do or has an adventurous spirit um you know it's really just a choice um yeah. when we um first started out paul and i um had this huge trip planned maybe hit a couple places in europe and blah 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 and like realistically that wasn't going to happen mm -hmm. but we both like to travel and um we like being outdoors and camping. So we kind of started that with our kids early on. We'd make surprise trips and we wouldn't tell them and they totally hated us for it. But um, Yeah, it I think that fun. first trip was Gatlinburg, right? It was. And it was a big surprise. Um, and I think we had a ton of fun and, and so did they. Um, that really was the start, I think, of a series of those types of trips. I think specifically about um, our trip to Maine and you know how special that was um, to have Alma and Grace with us and um, all the hiking and, and outdoors things that we did and um, you know I remember remember the breakfast when we went to the little breakfast oh, um, yeah. place the little cafe and we we showed them a different way to make pancakes <laughs> and they they said they were going to put it on the menu so yeah that was fun but, but beyond that we talked to the owners who were working that morning and i think that really lit a spark for us to you know just to think like wow they were not from there they relocated started a business and they they were just chasing a dream and um that really you know keyed us in to to know that you know we can chase our dreams too and so that's really, I think, a big part of what led us to thinking about moving to Michigan even. Um, you know, we, we felt like we were in a bit of a rut. Um, it was kind of the monotonous, um, same old, same old. And we were always going places to do the things that we wanted to do. And we said, hey, like, where do we like doing some of the things? And that's kind of what led us to Michigan and the different climates and the different activities you know throughout absolutely. the year not just absolutely and we we absolutely love living in west michigan it's it's been you know a real blessing for us and um you know since we've been there you know we, we've enjoyed the lake and all the inland lakes and, and all the things there are to do and you know we've been talking for, for quite a while now about you know should we potentially buy a boat um should we buy you know a cottage up north to have some place to vacation to um, and, you know, we've kicked those ideas around for a couple of years. I think that was really a, a, the intent of, of moving up there to begin with. Um, you know, not all of those things are necessarily practical. Um, not all of those things are necessarily affordable. Well, and that, and we didn't want to be tied. If we bought a boat, we would feel like we'd have to be on it all the time. Mm -hmm. Then how could we travel and do things? Same with the cottage. It would be nice, but that's where we would spend our time because we had it. And so unfortunately, you know, being the, as practical as we are, <laughs> we ended up doing some math. And that said, um, what is that cost per trip, you know, on a boat or in a, in a cottage or whatever that is? And, you know, those those things tend to be pretty high when you, fo when you think about a cost, cost per trip. Um, and so, you know, Given given the, um, the the COVID situation over last year, I think that really provided the the kick in the butt we needed, really to just you know do something. We we figured we needed to jump, um, we needed to just take some action and move forward. And so, um, you know, we started watching some some YouTube um, channels that dealt with RVs and RV living, um, really more focused more on you know full time RV RV living. 
Um, but you know that that really told us like wow there are people out there making this choice and and just you know going for it and again chasing their dreams and um, so you know COVID after the first summer um, where we did absolutely zero um, that was really just kind of a wake-up call to say you know someday may never come and we just need to move forward so here we are <laughs> yeah. So um, we decided we weren't going to waste our time anymore. We're going to just go. Uh, our our niece had a wedding, and she has a wedding in Oregon, and we thought, okay, we'll go in our new RV. And it was like, what? Well, yeah, <laughs> we're we're let's go. Let's get an RV and go. Yeah. And. Both of our older children live in separate states, so we thought this will be a good opportunity for us to feel like we can afford to go visit. Our daughter was in California for a while. That was a crusher on the budget. Um, and she's a little closer mm -hmm. now, but you know, when you have your RV and you're taking it and you have somewhere to stay, you have somewhere to eat, you you know it it makes it opens up a lot more possibilities yeah all of those things it also opens up a lot of um challenges too some things that we weren't even anticipating necessarily um never having having done this and really only tent camped um in the past you know it's it can be kind of daunting and so we've gone through a series of you know trips preparatory trips and a bunch of learning um, trying to understand all the systems within the RV, the processes that you go through for setup and takedown. Um, it, it's a lot, no lie. Um, but through you know those five trips or so, um, we've had quite a bit of practice. Um, <laughs> Made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> we've had you know we've had some mishaps along the way, for sure. Um, but ultimately, nothing that you know has prevented us from being able to continue to move forward. And really, it's just all been good learning and, and good preparation for the trip that we're currently on. So what we're going to do here at the end of this video is I think we have a lot of still pictures because we didn't have our mm -hmm. camera yet. So we're going to throw together like a little montage of some of the places that we went and what it looked like starting off and then this is it for the introductory we've got some really cool video um this is our first night actually um that we've actually been in an rv um campground you know not actually boondocking or some of these things that we've we've done along the way here so so we're going to go through kind of those first five trips we'll explain kind of the situations in each of those show the the montage like cindy mentioned um, and then we'll also go through kind of our journey from Rockford, Michigan, just outside of, of Grand Rapids. Everybody knows it is watching this. Um, but then um, our, making our way actually to the Colorado Springs area where we are now. Um, so that, that's going to be good. There's, there's a lot coming. Um, really appreciate anybody who's, who's tracking this with us and um, also checking out pictures on Instagram. Um, we just really appreciate you know people coming on the adventure with us we're happy to share and hopefully you know you guys find some meaning in it yes and we appreciate your well wishes and your prayers and your support because you know without all of that from all of you I, I don't think this would have been possible. You've been cheering us on and praying for us, and we feel that. Yeah. And yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank this you. is feels like a team effort, even though it's like the three of us out here. <laughs> it's a team. Yeah. Come, come along. No doubt. All right. Yeah. Come on the adventure. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. So we're here just doing one last walk around before we get going. Hey baby, you wanna unlock this stuff for me? <laughs> we still having some locking challenges. I need to put this in there. Oh, unlock it, it was unlocked. 
I couldn't get the door open. It was unlocked. Okay. I thought you were already done and... Here, I'll just... I'll just... Yeah, sorry. I thought you had a cooler for us to snack on. That would be a negatory. Say that again? I thought we had a cooler to snack on with water and... Yeah, no, we didn't. There was no cooler packed. That's a good thing about having a fridge in there. We can just, you know, put the food in there and when we stop, we'll grab something. You can lock that? You know what it says. What's going on, Grace? Sitting here. Yeah, getting ready to go? Yep, getting ready to go. Cool. What's your, uh, what are you most excited about uh, with the trip? Uh, seeing family and getting Donato's. <laughs> getting Donato's? Donato's I'm pizza? Gonna, I'm, I'm not going to miss out on the opportunity to get Donato's while I'm there. Is that right? Uh-huh. That sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll steal a corner piece. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Not, Not bad. bad. So this was our second time out, right? Yeah. So a few weeks back we went to Cadillac. Right. Um, that was our first first trip out. That went pretty well, but we hadn't hooked the water up or anything. So this one, um, kind of a first official test run before the summer extravaganza. Dewinterized. Um, had a chance to test out a lot of the systems the trailer. Heat and air works great. We were um, also able to test out the freshwater tank because the, the first site we had um, didn't actually have city water, um, a full hookup connection. And so we were able, able we had the opportunity um, to actually use the freshwater tank, sanitize that for the first time which was its own entire job. Um, of yeah, especially when you don't have city water and have to keep driving back to the pumps. That was fun. Yep, so repeated um, driving to the sanitation station um, yes. to fill and, and dump and fill again and dump again, etc. 80 gallons is not quick. No, not quick at all. <laughs> um, so that, that I thought went really well getting the freshwater tanks sanitized, um, using that, um, taking out know, the first few showers um, in the trailer, which, which we hadn't done before, so that all worked. Worked great. Yeah, it worked really well. I don't feel like we were running out of hot water either. I mean, you said it got a little cold on you, but I mean, it was so hot that you didn't have to turn a lot on. It was, that was pretty cool to be able to do those things. Once we had full hookups, that was um, singularly easy and um, simplified things quite a bit. So all in all, I mean, that was a, I think, pretty successful trial run um, for the summer. It was. Um, it was also nice to see family. It was. Yes, it was a little more comfortable taking your first run where there was family. Right, because we had a backup plan. In right. case things went, <laughs> just went downhill.
Still feeling sick Talk from the from the from the Talk fishing charter, it. Cynthia. No good. Not talking to you. <laughs> it's been Don't we've been off the there. boat for probably close to an hour, right? <laughs> no words. Do you think it's <laughs> so? This is Fish Town. Um, Leland, uh, I'm sorry, Leland, aka Fishtown. It's fishy, fishy smelling. Yeah, the fish cleaning, fish fishing charters, all things fish. Which would be fine if you didn't barf off the side of the boat. Oh yeah, there was there was some 
some boat barfing. <laughs> so, but it was a successful, it was a really successful trip though. It was. We had nine fish overall. Nine fish. All cleaned, packed in the cooler. And only half of the people barfed. Three out of six. Three. <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> you were just, I, you couldn't have gotten anything between those, that toothy smile, because you caught three fish. Hey, catching fish. I do. That's big fun. Fish.